One sunny morning, while walking home from school and munching on his favorite sandwich, Amsum saw a plastic bottle rolling down the street. He stared at it and huh? suddenly thought, What if we started eating plastic? That night, he dreamed of a world where plastic wasn't just for wrapping snacks or making toys. It was the snack. In this strange world, people crunched on plastic chips and munched on forks made of chewy plastic. Even lunch boxes were made of plastic and, strangely, were part of lunch too. Aum Sum watched himself in the dream take a bite of a plastic spoon. It was stretchy and smelled like old rubber, but in his dream, nobody seemed to mind. The world had changed. Plastic was everywhere. Inside cereal boxes, in school lunches, even sold as candy at the local store. But as Aum Sum looked around, he began to notice something odd. People didn't look very happy. Their tummies hurt. Their faces were pale. Doctors were busy. And hospitals were full. Then Aum Sum zoomed into his own body. Like in one of those science cartoons he loved. Inside his stomach, pieces of plastic floated around. They didn't break down like fruits or vegetables. Instead, they just sat there, piling up. His body didn't know what to do with them. His liver and kidneys were confused. They seemed to say, We clean stuff. But not this. In the dream, time moved fast. Amsum saw people and animals getting sicker. Birds were choking on plastic crumbs. Fishes had plastic pieces stuck in their stomachs. Even cows were mooing unhappily after munching on plastic bags. Nature, it seemed, was not made for plastic diets. Amsum woke up with a shock. He touched his stomach just to be sure there was no plastic inside. Hmm. 